a sample braid here. Just stuck them on a pin. And I'm happy with the colors and the width of the strands that I have. So I'm just going to take that apart. Okay, I have my three strands here. Now the two that join across the top of the T, I'm going to stitch a bias seam in those. And I start with the one laying right side up, coming down just like I do if I'm braiding and I'm gonna join another strip on. Comes down from above and then I take the other strip and lay it face down on top so that right sides are together here. Just lay it on like that and stick a pin in there. And I'm going to sew seam right across the corner here. I'm aiming for this corner down here and just take a um, pretty small stitch length and stitch that seam. Okay, here's my seam. I'm going to trim that pretty close, about an eighth of an inch. Now I'm going to take the other piece, the piece that will come down in the leg of the T, and stitch that end by hand. So I'm going to stitch the tube shape in, bringing two edges to the center and then folding that in half again. So all the edges are hidden inside the tube. I'm just going to take a few stitches across the top here. These are not going to show, so it doesn't matter how big and ugly they are just to hold the top there and then I'll just go down the side a little bit holding that tube shape You can just stitch an inch and a half, two inches here. It doesn't have to be far. to our crossbar, we're going to fold this into a tube shape also with the two edges toward the middle and I'm going to just pin it across the seams here to hold it. This one we need to tack down like this and then after that's done, we'll put this in and fold it the last time. But first, we'll tack this down across the seamed part here to hold it. And I'm just trying to catch the top layer of this base thread so the stitches don't show on the other side, on the front side. Just a whip stitch going over the edge to 
hold it in place. I want to go on out past where this seam ends up here. And then I just cross over there and come down the other side. Now we're going to put this piece on there and where you want to put that is right, you want this corner of this piece to be right where that seam joins. That will allow the seam when you start braiding to be right on the edge and hidden. It'll be hidden in the folds of your rug when you coil it around. So I'm going to fasten that on here so that that corner is right where the seam crosses down there. You can't see it too well on the front side but if you open that little space there, you can see where to tack that. Okay, that's what it looks like. And now all that's left to do is fold this down and stitch the tube closed across from one side to the other. I'm going to hide my knot down here. I get to this area I like to just go straight through all the layers from one side to the other start. You're ready to start braiding. Mm -hmm.